Okay, I just want to do a real quick video on this Hayward OmniLogic touchscreen. Looks pretty intimidating, but it's actually a pretty easy system. Once you kind of know how to move around through the, the menu options, it's pretty easy. So this is just a quick tutorial how to get through the system and change different settings. And uh, let's go ahead and do it. So the first thing is you can tell it's in pool mode right now. It says pool right there. And um, see right here, if I push on the screen, because it's in pool mode, these are going to be all the different pool settings. Um, so if I want to turn the heater on to the pool, I can do it in there. If I want to turn the filter pump on or if I wanted to mess with the schedule, um, I can do it all through this one. To go back to the home screen, push the back arrow. Okay, now if you want to switch over to spa mode, you can see the cursor here. We have to slide this over to spa mode like that. And then now we can go ahead and push on here and let's say we push the filter pump on right here we can go ahead and turn it on turn it on high and because it's in spa mode you'll see that our valves are going to turn automatically this one and that one are both turning so it's isolating the spa for us so let's go ahead and turn on the heater go back to the main menu go on the heater And let's go ahead and turn it on. Gotta hit this check mark to save it. Okay, so you can go ahead and get back into pool mode if you'd like. Let's say we added some cyanuric acid and we need this filter pump to run for 12 hours. Just go ahead and click filter, click on, and then you've got low, medium, or high. Let's go with medium. And then this one up here, this button is for the schedule. If you want to get in and alter the schedule, this button is for uh, countdown. So if you want it to run for 12 hours, you can go ahead and do a countdown. Go all the way up to 12. I'm not going to do that. But you could if you wanted to. Let's say two minutes hit the check mark and it'll save it now this pump will run for two minutes and then it'll automatically go back to its program schedule so let's go into the schedule here you can see that there's three schedules that have been programmed you can add another schedule here and then you can turn each individual schedule on or off if you'd like pretty simple really cool we're going to leave them on. Okay, let's go back to the main menu. Okay, let's say we want to turn on the water feature. On this pool, there's a separate pump right here for the water feature. So let's go ahead and turn on the water feature. As you can see, you can also set up a schedule um, or a countdown timer for the water feature as well. Okay, we don't really need that on. Let's go ahead and turn that back off. Go back to the main menu. You're in spa mode. Go ahead and flip it back to pool mode. Turn the pump on. And our valves are gonna go back into pull mode for us. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to the main menu. Got some favorites. Um, doesn't look like anything's been programmed into this system. You've got config, different uh, system type settings, date time, uh, different stuff like that. That's pretty much everything you're gonna to need to know about this system. You know, mostly just how to get in there, change the date and time, put it into spa mode, turn on the heater, you know, how to go ahead and, you know, turn on the water feature, how to set the pump to run for, say, 30 minutes if you added some muriatic acid, or, and then set it for 12 hours to run if you added some cyanuric acid. But that's pretty much the gist of it.